Hello everybody, this is Ray Halstead, Andrew Mill with REH CPA. Uh, today we want to talk about, you know, clients who find errors on their tax return. Let's say, let's say you've, you've done your taxes, you've submitted the IRS, and then all of a sudden a 1099 comes in that you weren't aware of. Or you're looking over your tax return and you see where you transposed a number so your tax return is wrong. Uh, you know, we have clients that ask all the time, you know, what do I do? How do I fix this? Uh, so I've got Andrew McMillan here with me today. He's going to go over that process and uh, help educate everybody on that. So there's two ways to fix an error. Um, one way is to file a superseding return. Uh, it's not a very common method to fix errors, but it is available. It is something that you could use. A superseding return has to be filed before the due date uh, of your tax return. So for example, you filed your tax return in February, you know, it's not due till April 15th and you catch the error in between that in that time period. Um, if you filed a superseding return by April 15th, then essentially the IRS just basically treats that as the originally filed return. A superseding return you can file on the normal 1040 forms. There's no special schedules or anything that have to go along with it. You just file a new return. That is the correct return. Um, with the IRS. Unfortunately, you would have to file it by paper, uh, which is really not recommended uh, to file anything by paper with the IRS if you don't have to. So right. that's one reason why we don't really do superseding returns very often. Yeah, I think in my entire yeah, I mean, never. 20 years of of tax work, I've, I've never done a superseding tax return. So. Yeah, but it's available. If you wanted to go that route, you certainly could. You just mail in your new 1040 to the IRS. You usually put superseding in red at, at the top just to notify the IRS. And um, that's one way to fix an error on a return. The other way is to simply file an amended return. We may have all heard of that term. So, but you could file an amended return, which is a little different than the superseding. It's actually got a form. It's a 1040X. It is. It's a 1040X. So, and you have to provide an explanation of what the changes were on the return. And actually it shows the changes as well. Yep. So. so it's a little different. It's a little different form. It's definitely not super complicated or anything, but it's a different form and you can electronically file uh, uh, amended returns generally with, with all tax reporting agencies. So uh, it, amended return is usually the recommendation because you can file it electronically. Um, that's that's usually the best way to to correct an error on a tax return. And you can file amended returns, you know, after the due date or before right. the due date, when, whenever you find the error. Uh, it is important to, to make the corrections. I tell clients all the time, like never, never avoid it or never just hope it never. You want to make the correction. You don't want the IRS to catch it. The IRS can assess a 20% accuracy related penalty on the return right. if it's a big enough swing so right. in tax. So you definitely want to self-profess because the IRS wants you to self-profess. It's probably one of the biggest reasons to uh, to correct your tax return is the fact that the IRS, if you got documentation on it, the IRS probably has documentation on it as well, and they're going to match up. And if they don't match, they're going to come to you. And once they come to you, they now have their penalties yeah. included with the adjustment. So, but if you go to them and say, hey, I missed this, here's my change, they don't hit you with a penalty. So that's usually one of the biggest deciding factors on whether or not to amend. Yeah, definitely always amend. You can avoid the penalty. It happens all the time. People are always making mistakes or errors. So it's a very common occurrence. Right. A lot of people are really afraid that it's an audit trigger. And it's my experience over the years that it's not an audit trigger. It's, it's a tool that's used by tax professionals as well as individuals to correct tax returns. And I, I've never seen it to be an audit, audit trigger. Yeah, for sure. So we always want to, we always make the recommendation to amend in those situations when you know you have an error. So it's usually, and if you're in a refund situation, you know, obviously you can get uh, some. Absolutely, money that's something else to think about is don't wait because especially if you're in a refund situation, um, you know, because the clock is ticking after you filed that tax return, you have three years before the statute of limitations kicks in, and you can't get that refund refund anymore. Mm -hmm. So awesome. Well, if you guys uh, find that you made an error on your tax return and you need some assistance uh, getting that 1040X prepared, uh, feel free to reach out to us. We'll set up an appointment and talk about it and see how we can help you. Thank you.